What's up guys, AD back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone, we are going to be overviewing the best picks for the Lisa's Extra Lessons event that is currently going on on Destiny Child Global of course and this event will be lasting up until February 5th so you do have quite some time to participate so if you are a newer player coming across this video before the deadline definitely make sure to check out Destiny Child and this event as of course you do obtain fully ignited, fully uncapped childs throughout this event for free and for this specific set of Lisa's Extra Lessons events we actually do have all five star units here for the first time ever on Destiny Child Global which is very amazing. So we'll be guiding you all here throughout the best picks for each day and let's get started with day one here and of course one more thing before we do so a huge thank you to the Destiny Child International Discord server for putting together this amazing guide. I'll be sure to have it linked in the description box below as well as the discord server so a huge thank you to all of the members that did contribute to putting this one together but without any further ado let's get started with day one here as we do have the top picks consisting of Cortison Bathory, Artemis, and Virupa. Now in my personal opinion here on day one I would definitely recommend you guys to take Artemis here. She is far more flexible than Cortison Bathory is and eventually Cortison Bathory will be outclassed by a future fire type attacker in Reynard for the Ragnar Break raids but nonetheless Cortison Bathory is still an amazing option as she is a six hit slider and will still perform a very amazing in world boss trials but for day one here I would suggest you all to pick Artemis and if you do happen to have Artemis from a previous Elisa's Extra Lessons event you can definitely consider picking up Cortison Bathory as well as Virupa here under the top picks. Now moving on to the good picks here we have Flower of Justice Mafdet yet again in another six hit slider here specifically the water element and following flower of justice map that we have tiamat here which is a great pvp option definitely if you are a beginner player as well as light saturn here the light type attacker which is an amazing dot unit so i would definitely say tiamat and the dreamer saturn here is also an amazing option for a beginner account definitely make sure to keep that in mind of course saturn is amazing for spacewalk but nonetheless you'll definitely want to keep your priority towards those units on the left hand side of this guide here and last but not least under the good picks we do have Annie. Annie is a pretty great option here for rack in the break rankings but of course we do have polar pepita in the game so why would you need to pick Annie if you do have pepita as an option to invest into and she does happen to be the best attacker in the game as for niche and collection here of course this is basically if you would like to just pick your fan favorites we do have Zephros here Lewin as well as Bridal Hilder but for the Day one here you'll want to lean towards picking Artemis or Cortis and Bathory and following up with Virupa if you do happen to have those others ignited and then move on throughout the row here if you do happen to have all of the top picks ignited already. Now moving on to day two here we do have Light Beam Mona she is the clear pick from day two here as day two isn't too amazing so definitely make sure to pick up Light Beam Mona if you haven't yet done so already and next here we do have the good picks in which we do have Bikini Lisa, Werewolf, the dark type support as well as med B, the fire type supporter and under niche and collection here we do have marina now definitely for day two here light bemona is the clear winner she's amazing for the world boss trials as well as cluster lord against tiwaz and of course she is also a top tier option for the light team raids if you do happen to need more sustainability so definitely make sure to pick up light bemona here in day two and move on to bikini lisa or werewolf etc if you do happen to have her ignited already now for day three here we do have a land fey the debuffer that is amazing for world boss trials as well as endless duel the five star mode so make sure to pick up land fey here from day three she is also another clear winner here for day three as she doesn't really have a much of a fight put up against her with these other options here as for the good picks we do have lewin as well as sun beach mona here of course lewin is very viable in world boss trials but i wouldn't suggest prioritizing her especially if you are a beginner player now moving on we do have sun beach mona as we mentioned she's a decent option for the world boss trial but kind of outdated and for niche and collection here we have thetis as well as seth now these two units here are very outdated 
definitely avoid them at all costs unless you are a huge Thetis fan or Seth fan. Moving on to day four here, everyone. We do have quite a few amazing options here on day four, very similar to day one, as we do have the top picks consisting of self-depreciating Navi, the world boss wood type debuffer, as well as Hungry Lemos here, the fire type PvP defender. And underneath, we do have Methuselah, the water type debuffer that is amazing in PvP as well. Now for the good picks here, we do have Rhea, Athena, as well as Peppy Pocket, which is a PvP tank for the Endless Duel area of Destiny Child. And for niche and collection, we do have Juno here, Seth, Brigid, as well as the Nephthys here. Now for day four, I would definitely suggest all of you players to pick self-depreciating Navi if you haven't yet done so already, as well as if you haven't ignited her, as this unit is very amazing and the clear-cut winner for day four. Now, if you would like to focus PvP, you could lean towards Hungry Lemos here, as she is an amazing fire type debuffer. Her confuse is very strong, and she is also very viable in the endless duel. And last but not least, here for the top picks, we do have Alchemist Methuselah, which is also another top tier debuffer for endless duel and can be viable in the Devil Rumble. So definitely make sure to consider him here if you do happen to have a Navi ignited already, as a Navi would be the clear cut winner, as we do have world boss trials pretty often, and you'll want to use her there nonetheless. As for the good picks here, Rhea is another great debuffer. She's sort of niche, but definitely can work in certain scenarios. And after Rhea, I would definitely lean towards moving into the defenders here with Athena and of course Paquette. Now, of course, you'll want to lean towards the left hand side here with those amazing debuffers in Lemos, Methuselah, and Rhea. If you do happen to have all four of those ignited somehow, then definitely make sure to choose one of the defenders here as Paquette would perform very well alongside other water type allies. And Athena here is just an overall good defender. As for the niche and collection options here, I would definitely avoid all of these units at all costs and just make your pick from the top picks or good picks. Moving on to day five here, our current day everyone. We do have the top pick of course being Newbie Mona. So definitely make sure to pick up Newbie Mona here. She is the clear cut winner for day five here. So make sure to grab her if you haven't yet done so already or ignited her just yet. Now for the good picks here, we do have some solid options here such as Citri as well as a swimsuit Davi. Now Citri isn't used by top players anymore unfortunately as we do have Chandra released in Destiny Child Global already. So make sure to consider that if you are an end game player, you may want to just ignite Chandra yourself and use the pick on either Nubi Mona or Swimsuit Davi here as Swimsuit Davi doesn't necessarily have a replacement just yet. But of course, Swimsuit Davi doesn't necessarily need too high of an investment to become good in world boss trials. She actually only needs to reach three star ignition. So make sure to keep that in mind. As for the niche and collection options here, everyone, we do have Ganesha as well as Palas here. Now, of course, you'll want to avoid these two at all cost but if you do happen to have the other three ignited as many of you veteran players may happen to have them ignited already then feel free to pick the niche and collection option here but keep in mind that Ganesha will eventually be outclassed so I would probably lean towards more Palas here for myself personally as I do happen to have those other three ignited from the top picks as well as good picks but of course for the majority of you players you'll want to lean towards Nubi Mona as well as the good picks here in Citri and swimsuit Davi. As for day six here, everyone, we do have Ryder Kubaba here as well as Forbidden Eve here for the top picks. Now, these are amazing six hit sliders. Of course, Kubaba is very strong in the world of Austral, as well as Eve here being a more flexible option and can be used in pretty much all areas of Destiny Child. Now, for the good picks here, we have Daphnis, and for niche and collection here, we do have Thriving as well as Deborah. Now, you'll definitely want to lean towards Kubaba here, I would say, for the world of trials as she will probably last longer than eve here as a six hit slider as we do have plenty of water six hit sliders now but for a beginner player forbidden eve is an amazing option she is very flexible and does have a ton of poison damage so these options here you can definitely lean towards forbidden eve if you are a beginner player and if you are more of an intermediate player or do happen to have ignited eve already from a previous lessons make sure to pick up kubaba here as she is very strong for world of boss trials now for the good picks here, we have Daphnis, which is another six hit slider here, specifically from the wood element. Now, of course, if you do have Polar Pepita, you won't be using Daphnis in Ragnarok, but you may want to pick up Daphnis for your world boss trial.
Emerald teams if you don't happen to have three ignited wood type attackers already. As for the niche and collection options here, everyone, you'll want to avoid these two at all cost as they are honestly pretty terrible. As for day seven here, everyone, to wrap up this guide, we do have a Nemone, which is a huge winner for this Lisa's Extra Lessons event. Definitely make sure to pick up a Nemone if you don't happen to have her ignited already. Just grab the units without a question as she is a top tier S rank character. So make sure to pick her from day seven if you don't happen to have her invested into already. Now for the remainder of day seven here, we do have a pretty bad day overall, but an MLA does make up for it. As for the good picks here, we do have some supporters consisting of light type Saturn, the world boss, as well as cluster Lord supporter here. So make sure to pick her up if you don't happen to have her ignited. She does have a pretty amazing skill set and is very nice in the world boss trial as well as cluster lord now we also do have fail knots here as well as samil that do happen to be rack and the break supporters so make sure to keep these two units in mind if you would like to pick them up for your rack and the break teams as for the niche and collection options here everyone we do have quite a few here as you can see we have six options now you'll definitely want to avoid all of these at all cost don't consider any of them just lean towards picking anemone saturn fail knot or samil for the day seven here to wrap up the lisa's extra lessons event now you may be wondering which tickets should i pick here after i do happen to submit all of my lessons here upon completing the lisa's extra lessons event and i would definitely recommend you guys to lean towards picking up the supporter tickets as well as attacker and debuffer tickets here from the three options that you'll be able to receive if you do happen to complete all of your lessons so make sure to consider those five star tickets if you don't want to you can definitely lean towards the element specific tickets if you would like to aim for a certain character but just keep in mind these five star tickets are definitely rng based and you can still pull a pretty terrible unit out of any of the tickets you do manage to choose but anyways everyone that'll pretty much do it for the lisa's extra lessons guide overview here everyone thanks to the destiny child international discord server so a huge thank you to them and i'll be sure to have the links to this guide as well as to the discord in the description box below of this video so hopefully it was helpful to you all here and definitely make sure to let me know in the comment section below how you guys have been enjoying this Ragnar break as well as the Lisa's extra lessons event so far but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already and of course check out channel memberships down below if you're interested in further supporting the channel for a small cost but with all of that being said I'll catch you all in the next Destiny Child video as always thank you all so much for watching